Hey y'all, today I'm going to be selling to Once Upon a Child, so if you're interested in what they purchased for me, just keep watching. Okay, so here's my little basket that I'm going to be bringing to Once Upon a Child to see if I can resell some of these items. As y'all know, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I do resell used clothes for a living. I'm not a mom, but I have been collecting some children's clothes from some mystery boxes that I've been purchasing online. So let me show you what I'm going to try to sell to Once Upon a Child. Okay, so this is how the video is gonna work. I'm going to hold up each item that I'm bringing, and if they accept the item, I'll put a green arrow at the bottom, and if they don't accept the item, I'll put an X, and then at the end of the video, I'll go through all my numbers, how many pieces I brought to them, how many pieces they accepted, and how much money I actually made. So let's just get straight into it. The first piece, is a piece I bought to originally resell online myself, but it never sold. This is actually a baby pageant dress. And y'all knew I do live in the South in Mississippi where pageants are definitely alive and well. So this is like a little one shoulder dress. And then it also has, this is a clip for the hair. I think this is 18 months, uh, but I think some pageant mom will find this really cute. I got these in a thread up um, DIY denim mystery box online. And it's just a pair of Oshkosh green overalls. And they're in really good condition and they have flamingos. I've had these online on like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay. Gosh, almost a full year. Maybe it is at a full year. Uh, so I'm going to see if they'll take them at Once Upon a Child. Okay, I also have these Gap size 12 girls denim. These are just a skinny leg. I got these in a thread up box as well. Another item I got in a thread up box. I didn't realize I had so many. Uh, this is bongo and these are just like a cute little flare embroidered pair of denim. I've had these up for at least half a year. No interest so hopefully they'll want them. Okay so here's a super cute dress by Polo Ralph Lauren. It just has these little spaghetti straps little paisley detail. I think it's really cute. I think they should take this. It's the right time of year for it. I think it's adorable. Okay, I have a pair of Mario pajamas, Super Mario. These are in a boy size medium eight. I also have the matching pants. These are new without tag. Um, I got these in a Wee Bargain box, so I think these are cute. Maybe they'll sell. This is a brand new uh, Cat and Jack, like, little pizza delivery shirt for a boy. Still new with the tag. I'm going to have to take this clearance sticker off, though. Here's another Cat and Jack. This is little girls, um, I think they're skorts. Uh, again, I'm probably going to take the tag off of this one as well, the clearance tag. I don't know if they'll take this. This is kind of random. It's just a little boy's hat. I've never heard of this brand, Discreet, but we don't really wear hats here, so I'm not sure if they'll want this. Here's another little uh, Cat and Jack, just a cute little t-shirt, and another clearance tag. I guess I was not good about taking clearance stickers off when I was putting this stuff in the boxes. So anyway, yeah, I think this is cute. So I'm super curious if they'll take this. This is a little boy suit jacket, and it's still new at Tags. It's Cat and Jack. Yeah, I have two of these, so I don't know. I don't really ever go into Once Upon a Child, so I don't know if they even sell this stuff. Um, but I don't know. We're going to try it out. I also have brand new socks. These are Cat and Jack, 10 pairs of low-cut socks. Got these in a wee bargain box, so... I don't know, do they sell socks? We'll find out. Okay, I got four of these shirts here. So, uh, and they're all the new with the tag. I got these out of a wee bargain box. I don't know, this vote for the truth, I'm not sure if they'll take that. It'll be interesting to see, but I got four of them. Okay, well, I'm gonna run to Once Upon a Child and try to sell this stuff. I'm gonna come back and edit the video when I come back home, so I'm just gonna pop up the numbers here for you. So this is how many items I brought into Once Upon a Child to sell. This is the number that they actually purchased from me, how many items they actually purchased. And I guess they'll give me that information. And then here, this last number is how much money I made selling to Once Upon a Child. So what do you think? Do you think that they took the items you thought they would take? 
I wonder if they took any of them. We shall find out. I do want to let y'all know I have my biggest thrift haul ever that I've ever had. It's going to be uploaded here in just a couple days, and it was from my Humane Society's $10 fill a bag sale, fill a trash bag bag sale. And it got me thinking, making this video, I really need to take advantage of the children's department there whenever I'm shopping because I never really look at the children's stuff. They really only have like one rack, uh, but still it could be a great way to quickly make some money by just buying from that bag sale and just bringing it all to Once Upon a Child in one day and making some quick cash. So I think I'm going to do that next bag sale. Y'all let me know if you like this video. My last Once Upon a Child video is probably my most popular reselling video as many videos as I make about selling I don't even have kids but selling to once upon a child seems to be the videos that y'all like to watch so if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up subscribe and leave me a comment down below and I will see y'all in just a couple days for a fun new video bye y'all